Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of not one, but two Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max phones. Now in this video, I'm not going to go over the features and sort of all the different cool things about the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It is strictly just an unboxing video uh, of the phones, unboxing and sort of quickie overview of the MagSafe charger, as well as how to install a glass screen protector on the phone. Other videos that I'm going to be creating after this one will actually go in depth with some concrete examples of why I decided to upgrade to an iPhone 12 Pro Max phone. Hope you enjoy it. So here is my bag of Apple goodies. Picked up fresh from the Apple store with two iPhone 12 Pro Maxes as well as a few items from Amazon. First up, we've got a triple pack of ESR tempered glass screen protectors that I picked up from Amazon.ca for $17.99. I've had a lot of success with ESR products, so I decided to give them a shot again. The other items here are some Spigen hybrid phone cases in the clear style. I've always liked Spigen products because they just historically have been very good quality um, and they're not overly expensive compared to the other competitors. Next up, we've got ourselves a genuine Apple MagSafe charger at a cost of $55. And even though I use Qi chargers, that I decided to give this one a shot just because of all the hype around it. And then last but not least, we've got our factory sealed Pacific Blue iPhone 12 Pro Max, 512 gigabyte, the box as you can see is quite thin by comparison compared to previous iPhones because Apple decided to not include a bunch of accessories. Now you'll notice on the boxes that the lettering matches the color of the phone. So the iPhone and the Apple logo is in the same color. Similarly, we have a iPhone 12 Pro Max 512 gigabyte in a gold color. And you'll notice that again, the print on the front matches the color of the phone. So. Now diving right in, we're going to start off by cracking open our Pacific Blue Pro Max phone. We're just going to grab that little plastic pull tab and in one swift motion, pull straight back to remove that protective wrapping from this minimalist, but very well constructed, beautiful product box. Now the lid here, guys, is a real tight fit, so slow as she goes. We crack that open, which then reveals the gorgeous Pro Max phone, which is gigantic. Now on the Pro version, on the back, it uses a frosted glass with a polished Apple logo, as well as an anodized stainless steel bezel, which gives this phone a very premium look and feel. Now on the front here, the screen protective mask has little details like markers that tell the user where the buttons are and what they do, such as power, volume up, down, as well as mute. Now pulling back the protective screen mask reveals Apple's latest and most Biggest screen yet, the 6.7 inch OLED screen that's been infused with ceramic shield, which is supposed to give the glass, at least on the front of the phone, up to four times more drop strength than previous generations. Inside the box, we have our charging cable that is the same as last year's Pro versions, which is a lightning to USB-C cable. Now what is different about 2020 is that there is no more included charging adapter or headphones, and Apple's claims is because of environmental reasons to reduce e-waste. Now the other item inside of our box is this very well constructed and cute little folio designed by Apple in California. And of course inside we've got our SIM ejection tool that's mounted onto a stiff piece of cardstock so you don't lose it, bunch of regulatory mumbo jumbo paperwork which I didn't bother reading, and of course an Apple sticker, they're still giving those away. Now we're going to rinse and repeat this opening process, but this time with an iPhone 12 Pro Max Gold version. Just like what we did earlier, we're going to grab that pull tab and pull off our protective wrapping and reveal the contents inside. Now I forgot to mention earlier that the attention to detail that Apple has is always really impressive because inside the lid of the box, there's actually a little cutout to accommodate the camera bump. And that's actually allowing Apple to shrink the height of their boxes by several millimeters without compromising the package contents. Now the iPhone here is a nice subtle gold color and it's got that beautiful anodized gold bezel, very high quality and it's not as tacky looking as you would think gold would look. 
In fact, I prefer this one over the Pacific Blue Edition. So we've got our $55 Canadian Genuine Apple MagSafe Charger. Pull off this little adhesive tab, and then pull up on the shelf hang tab, which then perfectly opens up the box, revealing a very neatly folded charger holder. Always amazes me with how Apple folds and prints and packages things. Designed by Apple in California. Opening this up, it reveals that we have our little charging base with a non-detachable three foot long cord. And on the end of it, we have a USB-C connector, which means that you're going to have to plug this into a more modern Macintosh, or I guess a Windows USB-C port, or buy a separate USB-C power adapter. It's the base. It's got a bit of dirt from the factory, actually. Oh, weird. Now the MagSafe charger is a wireless charging solution from Apple that has some pretty neat innovations behind its sleeve. It uses a series of magnets contained within the charging puck and the iPhone so that they align perfectly in unison whenever you bring the phone close to the puck. Now unlike Qi chargers that can misalign, that MagSafe assures that you will always have a solid connection to the phone. The magnets contained within the phone and the charger are quite strong, and as you can see, the Pro Max itself is quite heavy and the MagSafe can hold it without any issues so long as you're not using a non-Apple MagSafe case. Up next is the installation of the ESR Tempered Glass Screen Protector Kit. Now I like to use screen protectors on my phones because phones are very expensive. This kit can be found on Amazon for $17.99 and inside you get three glass screen protectors three sort of screen preparation kits, an aqua colored alignment template ring, which is really handy, and an instruction leaflet that explains how they should be installed. Now, anytime I'm installing a screen protector on any device, I like to lay down a moist microfiber cloth, which is that yellow cloth underneath the phone on my work surface. The reason why it needs to be moist is that it prevents dust and dirt and lint from flying off of your work surface, it keeps things real nice and clean. Now in the ESR screen preparation kit, which is that black pouch, we have a sticky tape to remove dust particles, an alcohol wipe, as well as a microfiber polishing cloth. Now to prep our screen, we're going to thoroughly wipe it down with that alcohol wipe, which will then take off any dirt and oil. And then that polishing cloth is to help dry it off and remove any streaking. And make sure that you do take the time to prep the surfaces really good because any type of dirt um, will show under your screen protector and it is a pain to remove. So once we've thoroughly wiped everything down, we're going to peel back our sort of sticky adhesive tape and then we're going to dab that on the screen multiple times and this process is essentially going to remove any fine particles of lint that are electrostatically stuck onto the face of your iPhone screen. Don't chin sit on this process. Dust has a tendency to stick to everything. This really helps get it to that perfect clean surface. Snap the application template ring around your phone and then use the sticky tape dab the screen one more time to make sure that you remove any dust or lint that may have been introduced onto the screen when you snap the ring on. Partially peel back the protective film on the screen protector and then lining it up inside the template ring Carefully drop down the screen protector while simultaneously peeling off the protective mask and then dropping it down onto the phone. Once the screen protector has been laid down, using your fingers, press from the center of the screen outwards to remove any air bubbles and to ensure adhesion, and then remove the template ring and then using that microfiber cloth to rub the surfaces of the screen to ensure complete adhesion. Now here is a Spigen Hybrid Series iPhone 12 Pro Max case. I like using Spigen cases because historically in all the different iPhones I've owned that they've always churned out a very high quality product at a very reasonable price. Now inside this particular Spigen case there is even an offer for you to purchase one of their USB-C um, 20 watt adapters at a discount so that's a useful thing to have. Now this case is a clear one, it's very simple, it's got a protective mask on the insides and outsides of the case to, I guess, 
prevent scratching or was maybe part of the molding process, I'm not really sure. But we're going to pull that mask off from the inside. And then we're going to take our foam and then pushing it in button sides first, seat it firmly into the case frame, and then just pop that around um, the foam. Once that's done, we can then remove the back masking film, which then reveals this very simple, minimalistic case. Similar to how Apple does things for attention to detail, it clearly has laser engraving that says Spigot Incorporated in Irvine, California, made in South Korea with the model number on it. So we're going to try MagSafe on a Spigot case that doesn't have the built-in magnets like the Apple MagSafe case would. The magnet definitely, you know, you can feel that magnetism happening, but it's certainly not that solid clicky feel um, that we felt without the Spigot case on the phone. Nonetheless, it does align and that's sufficient for my purposes without having the ugly magnets like the Apple version does. Well, there you guys have it. A real simple unboxing video. More videos are to follow. I'm going to start talking about some iPhone Pro Max advantages and why I think any photo or video enthusiast should pay the premium to upgrade to this monster sized phone. All products that are not from Apple can be found in the video description below. And thanks for watching.